have you cover EMS for me at 1600 California. So we have a man down and CPR has started. It's 2.30 p.m. on a Wednesday. A man is down outside a 16th Street Mall pizza place. He just kind of collapsed up against this rail here. Carter Schmidt is right there in the video. Three firemen hopped out, started doing uh, CPR on him. He was a 50-year-old male who was noted by a possible... The next day, that man came here, the office of the Denver Medical Examiner. We're the beginning of everyone's end that comes through this office. Aaron Worrell is the chief of investigations here. They're a person and they have a story to tell. She knows his story is in need of a conclusion. It's just important. Uh, f figuring out cause and manner of death is just so important, and people want those answers. Answers to a problem that's much bigger than one body in one office. OK, what you got? Dr. James Caruso says Denver is in the midst of its worst overdose phase ever. And we're in the fentanyl phase now. More than 400 people died of an overdose in Denver last year. Almost all came here. This job is definitely not for everyone. One of the 400 plus, James Earl Morris, a 50 year old whose obituary included no picture and no information about what kind of a life he lived. He had a backpack and a duffel bag. Cause of death, combined toxic effects of fentanyl and ethanol. Schmidt didn't know the efforts to save him ended up being not enough. I found out he, today when you told me that he actually died, I thought he made it. One of roughly 200 overdoses in 2021 related to fentanyl in Denver. No other drug is fueling the increase in overdoses more than it. There's a lot of theories as to why this all went wrong, very wrong two years ago, right when the pandemic it hit. It seems easy to point all of our attention towards the pandemic, but those who work in the coroner's office say it's a little bit more complex than that, and it ignores that Colorado is experiencing a fentanyl wave, much like some eastern states did about five to eight years ago. We already know that that wave had proven to be de very deadly over there, and it's now deadly here in Colorado. Tonight at 9 and 10, we'll talk to the family of one of the autopsies we witnessed. Kim and Tom, it's been a long project. We've been working with the city for a very long time. We shot these autopsies back in September, hmm. and this story is now just coming to light now. And now we've been hearing more and more about this, but when you say it was on the East Coast and now it's here, do we know why? I mean, what, any connection? It's really sort of the progression of drugs and really sort of the market that sort of like filters and a lot of drugs that happen. This happens uh, around the country with meth and with other things is that it sort of makes its way across the country, basically supply chains and other sort of more complex things. But what we definitely know is, is that places like Ohio and the upper Midwest and the East Coast, five, six years ago, they really went through that beginning of their fentanyl wave. Five, six years ago here in Colorado, we were not. And now it is definitely here and it's causing an extraordinary number of deaths. It is a hard and important story and we'll look forward to hearing more tonight. Chris, thanks.